Kept you waiting, huh? Hello everybody, it is me, Sci-Fi. And I'm back for a short bit before I continue working on my modding compendium, if you will. And wanted to take what I have learned from the making of that video and answer a rather interesting question. What kind of buff is Rift Torrent? And more importantly, how do you mod for it anyway? A question that some of you may have the answer to already, and of course I do too, but it is more than you think. Upon investigating the Rift Torrent description, we find it says the following. Increases Limbo's weapon damage by 30%, scaling with power strength, per enemy affected by Rift Surge. From this already, we understand two things about the Augment right from the get-go. One, it's effectively a 1.3 times multiplier to our damage. And second, it affects all of our weapons we have equipped, from our primary weapon to even our arch gun upon activation. However, it does not affect the operator or allies around the user. But these two elements lead us to even more questions. What kind of multiplier is the torrent buff? Is it additive? Multiplicative? A final multiplier? A bane? And you may be asking, what the heck are these in the first place? Well, I'm glad you probably asked. Additive multipliers are a damage increase applied before your crits come into play. Basically, damage increases akin to serration or elemental mods. Multiplicative is a bit of a weird one, where it's a damage multiplier that only comes from the galvanized condition overload mods, specifically projectile-based weapons. For some reason, instead of the multiplier being additive, as intended by the mods, they become a multiplicative bonus that applies after your base damage and crits are taken into account. Very similar to final multipliers, as I like to call them, where certain warfare abilities, mainly Mirage's Eclipse, applies a 500% damage multiplier to all of your attacks, or bonuses like Multishot, where it's an increase in bullets with their own individual multipliers. Or Banes, a bonus that multiplies your initial damage against a specific faction, but SAS effects get multiplied by that faction multiplier again, the most notable example being the one and only Roar. So how do we discern which of these kinds of buffs Rift Torrent is? Well, multiplicative is already out of the question due to it being an exclusive to Gun CO, but it also cannot be a final multiplier or a bane for one very big reason that we luckily don't have to do math for. Rift Warrant can be stacked with Eclipse and Roar, which for those who do not know, multiplicative bonuses or bane bonus abilities cannot be stacked with each other or placed onto the same frame. But seeing as we can put Roar in Limbo, we have ourselves an additive bonus. Well, kinda anyway. But just to be safe, there is another way we could tell if the buff is an additive one or not. By placing on what would be an additive CO weapon. In this case, a beam weapon like the Convectrix, where with Galf Savvy at max sacks, we will get an 80% base damage per SAS effect on the target. And since we have at most 3 SAS effects on the weapon, we get a 240% base damage bonus on this weapon. And seeing as the base damage is 24, the Galv mod will increase it to 81.6 base damage. In this example, we are keeping power strength exactly the same as usual, and having 20 enemies in the sim, meaning our torrent buff is 600%, aka a 7 times multiplier. If torrent is additive, the base damage, without DR from this enemy taken into account, will be 249.6 base damage. If Torrent is multiplicative, with the 81.6% base damage from earlier, at max Galv stacks, the damage would be 571.2 on non-critical hits. With the DR of this Grenier taken into account, the damage would be approximately 24.9 and 57.1 respectively. Now let's build up the Galv stacks and see what happens. Well, would you look at that! But now let us take this over to a weapon like the Aeolac, which has multiplicative gun CO. For this build, we are increasing our elemental damage and fire rate to keep the same four stats on the weapon to make this equation easier, and increasing our multi-shot too to increase our rate of attacks. But keep in mind, multi-shot will deceptively increase our base damage on screen when it's treating the extra shots as a base damage increase, when it technically isn't. Anyway, we have 158.1 base damage, with 4 possible SAS effects, meaning with our torrent buff, 
four possible status effects, and we are going for headshots as well, which is a final multiplier of 200% or three times. So plugging Torrent into the equation and CO calculations between one and four status effects, we have the possibility of 5,976, 8,631, 11,288, and 13,944. This assuming that we aren't calculating for DR. If DR is taken into account, it would be approximately a tenth of what it currently says. But, wait. Why is our damage off by 100 or more on these headshots? Well, that's due to the impact multiplier that Grenier have, meaning our damage is actually slightly higher. When we plug in the damage again, but boosting the impact damage specifically by 50%, our damage against Grenier specifically goes up to 164.5. So we redo the math again, take into account max CO scaling, the headshot multiplier and armor, our damage should come out to approximately 14,508 or 1,451 at base if the unit has 90% DR. But that's the problem. It isn't 90%. The equation for armor on enemies is actually 0.9 times the square root of armor divided by 2,700 meaning it will always cap out at 0.9 or 90%. So how do we figure out what the DR of these enemies are then? Well, time for even more math. Now to make this easy, we are going to leave CO and Torrent out of this and looking at the base damage itself. 164.5 here becomes 17 damage. Armor strip, the damage gets increased to 166, but this is due to how Warframe rounds up math and for some reason adds one extra damage in calculations. Don't ask me why. Even I don't fully get it. Anyway, our equation becomes 166 times x as our variable equals 17. With simple math, we divide 166x and 17 by 166. x equals 17 divided by 166. Putting into a calculator, we get x equals 0.10240 But we can't just use this because it would imply it to be 10% dr. So what we do to find out what the percentage is, is 1 minus this particular value, to get 0.89759036.1, or in other words, 89.75903.61% damage reduction. So with our DR value, let's find out what the armor value for these guys is. So if the equation is correct, 0.89759036.1 equals 0.9 times the square root of x divided by 2700. Let us divide both sides by 0.9 to get 0 0.80783131305. Then we square root both sides to get 0.652591495 equals x divided by 2700. Lastly, we multiply both sides by 2700, leading us to get approximately 1762 armor, if the equation is to be trusted. But anyway, back to the dr value. If we plug in this value again, we should get approximately 1425.861452 damage. And it's still off. By a couple hundred points. Things become even worse when we take into account crits as well. And the worst part is, Vile Acceleration is an additive decrease that applies after mods. Surprise, surprise. But even then, the calculations would still be off by a couple hundred points. So what the heck is happening here then? The math doesn't lie in regards to what we are supposed to be getting, yet the game isn't matching these values at all. Could it be possible that the game itself is just lying to us then? Well yes. Yes it is. What is happening here is Warframe doing what is called quantitative processing or scaling. Basically what is happening is somewhere in the back end, during the coding, Warframe is randomly increasing or decreasing specific values during the coding process, mainly to save time and space, leading to large discrepancies in these damage values, some being minor like 4-5%, to to values as drastic as 15% difference in damage, all of this sadly being a source trust me bro kind of situation. But it is the only plausible explanation as to why this is happening. Long story short, your values are never going to be exactly the same as what we calculated here, because the game will mess with something on the back end. But seeing as we have at least gotten close to what the game has dictated here, it could be safe to say Rift Torrent is a universal weapon buff, like the amazing Arcane Arachne, that applies to the weapon additively, 
not multiplicatively within our equation. And this isn't even accounting for things like what Bethesda effects or Glaives yet, which is its own can of worms that I'm not going to discuss here because I frankly want to save it for the modding guide I'm working on. But all this is to say, you see what the heck I have to deal with here for that video? Warframe's modding system for weapons, quite frankly, is shit. The way everything gets applied and calculated is confusing and the game will straight up lie to you in regards to the numbers you are actually getting. But that doesn't mean you should disregard the math completely, that is. Knowing when and where these calculations happen is integral to understanding which weapons and bonuses are stronger than others, something that the upcoming guide is intended to teach you when it does arrive. But to understand, at least in terms of modding, that it isn't the strength of the buff that matters, but so much as where it gets placed in Warframe's equations, and Rift Torrent is one hell of a package. And with that, I take my leave. For a little while, anyway. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to leave a like and a comment letting me know your thoughts. If you want to talk with me directly, feel free to check out my Discord. Or if you want to support me directly, I do have a Patreon with some hopefully cool perks. And now, I will see you all later. Have a wonderful day.